the laws of planetary motion, gizmo help for part A, number four, five, and six. So it says, use the gizmo to create an orbit that is nearly circular, then create one that is flattened. All you have to do is just mess with this and see if you can get one that's really oval shaped. I just made one just like that. And then make one that's like really circular. All right. But while you're doing that, it says to take note about the focal points. All right. So when you move it, notice the focal point, this one always on the sun. Notice the distance that compared to that. The other one was a more circular orbit. This one's a more oval. You can compare the distance between the focal points between each. And if you have to redo it, just remake it. See if you can make a circular one and compare. Well, that one's really circular. All right. Now we're going to start calculating the eccentricity. Some students have trouble with this because, number one, they don't follow the directions. So make sure you're following the directions. Eccentricity is describes how flat uh, the orbit or the ellipse of a planet is. So we're going to follow these directions. Move it to negative 5i uh, uh, for the r and negative 8 on the j for the velocity. So we're going to turn the grid on. I'm going to move this bad boy to negative 5i. We can double check right here. It says negative 5i. And then, I have to zoom out a little bit to grab this. We want it to be on negative 8. Boom, I just did it. Negative 8. And now, we're going to let it run. The eccentricity, as the directions tell you, is the distance between the focal points divided by the total width of the ellipse. So here's where students make a mistake. Some students, they overcount or undercount, or they just don't count consistently. Here's a focal point, here's a focal point. How many spaces are between it? Well, one, two. We could say about two, right? Some students go one, two, three, four. That's fine if you do that, as long as you count the total width the same way. So either you're going to go, oh, it's one, two, and then from here you go, oh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you count one, two, three, four, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. See, students make big mistakes when they say, oh, it's it's one, two separate here, but here it's sixteen. They're not being consistent with their counting. Remember, the eccentricity is the distance between the focal points divided by the total width, this total width, the diameter of the orbit. All right. So you want to do that, you have to move the planet again, or the velocity, and then you have to write down your information. Remember, the formula is here for how to calculate eccentricity, and then answer these questions based on what you saw here. Okay?